The F-35B is one of the most advanced aircraft ever built. It is a multi-role aircraft, combining the capabilities of the F-16, AV-8B Harrier, and B-2, with stealth and high maneuverability. The F-35B can attack both air and ground targets using advanced stealth technology from the F-22 Raptor and F-117 Nighthawk. With modern sensors and computer systems, the F-35B shares information almost instantly with allies without compromising its stealth capabilities. Information is displayed directly on the pilot's helmet, providing unparalleled situational awareness, allowing the F-35 squadron to operate as a collective brain. The most unique feature of the F-35B is its ability to transition from horizontal to vertical flight at the push of a button, thanks to the huge vertical turbofan engine hidden inside. This allows it to land like a helicopter on small amphibious assault ships of the U.S. Marine Corps. The F-35B's stealth design requires meticulous molding of the aircraft's exterior, creating inevitable trade-offs. Stealth does not make an aircraft invisible, but rather delays detection by the enemy for as long as possible. With bombers, it reduces the range of enemy radar, opening up holes in radar defenses. With fighters, it helps detect enemies before they are detected, giving them a significant advantage in combat. To minimize radar return, it is important to avoid large flat surfaces that can reflect radar waves straight back to the source. Specular reflections, also known as regular reflections, like a mirror, should be minimized. Corner reflectors, where two surfaces are at a 90 degree angle to each other, should be avoided at all costs because they can reflect radar waves back to the source. In particular, the horizontal and vertical tail fins of aircraft are prone to creating these corner reflectors. One solution to avoiding corner reflections is to use a V-tail, as on the F-117 Nighthawk. A V-tail can act as both a rudder and an elevator, allowing the aircraft to control both horizontally and vertically. By adjusting the control surfaces in opposite directions, the resulting force can provide yaw control like a vertical rudder. Conversely, when the control surfaces are adjusted in the same direction, they provide pitch control like a horizontal elevator. This design is also used on unique shaped aircraft such as the Cirrus SF-50, which allows a single small turbofan engine to be mounted on top of the fuselage with the exhaust directed straight through the V-tail. However, combining rudder and elevator control in a single mechanism is not ideal for fighters such as the F-35 and F-22, which require superior control. These fighters have separate, larger control surfaces to ensure maximum performance. The larger the elevator, the greater the ability to control altitude. When a control surface has to perform a dual role, controllability is reduced. In stealth aircraft design, engine air intakes also play an important role in reducing radar signature. Both the F-117 and B-2 have engine inlets mounted on the upper surface of the aircraft, which prevents ground-based radar from bouncing around the inside of the inlet and back to the receiver, and reduces the infrared heat signature. However, this design is not suitable for fighters performing high-angle attack maneuvers. When performing such maneuvers, the inlets receive lower pressure air, reducing engine performance just when it is needed most. To address this issue, the F-35 uses dual air intakes on the sides of the fuselage. This design avoids excessive radar reflection and improves aerodynamic performance. These air intakes are also designed with clever aerodynamic features, such as small ridges along the edges of the air intakes, which play an important role in ensuring that the airflow into the engine is always stable and efficient. Installing these air intakes along the fuselage also comes with some issues with the turbulent air layer moving along the fuselage, called the boundary layer. This layer of air can reduce engine performance and even cause damage. To address this issue, the F-35's air intake designs are optimized to limit the ingress of turbulent air into the engine, ensuring high performance and protecting the engine from damage. As the turbine spins, it passes through slow and fast airflow, causing cyclic bending, which can lead to fatigue failure. Aircraft like the F-16 have boundary layer deflectors to separate the inlet from the fuselage, but this design increases radar cross-section and drag. Later variants of the F-16 use the DSI supersonic inlet, which creates a compression zone that pushes the boundary layer away from the inlet, 
reducing drag and radar signature. This design reduces the weight and cost of the F-35 by 30%. The F-35 stealth design focuses on reducing radar signature. Long, sharp edges scatter radar waves in all directions. By serrating these edges, the edge length is reduced, reducing the reflection. On the F-35, the access hatches, ladder doors, landing gear, and internal weapons bays all have serrated edges to reduce radar signature. The F-35 uses flares and advanced decoy systems to counter radar-guided missiles. When the missile tries to lock onto the target, the decoy emitter jams, disrupts, and simulates the aircraft's radar signal to attract the missile. These sawtooth hatches are treated with special radar scattering tape to reduce the return signal. The surface of the F-35 is made of radar-absorbent material, including carbon nanotubes that absorb radar waves from 0.1 MHz to 60 GHz, which is especially effective against surface-to-air missiles such as the Russian S-400. This design makes the F-35 harder to detect, increasing its survivability in combat situations. The F-35 has sharp edges on the nose to break up the rounded shape, unlike the F-16. The largest hatch on the F-35 is not notched because it hides a powerful lift fan which generates 85 kiloneters of vertical thrust. The lift fan acts like a small helicopter, sucking air into the aircraft at a 90-degree angle, so the hatch needs to allow air to pass smoothly without causing turbulence. The F-35 is capable of short takeoffs and vertical landings thanks to a complex mechanical design. When needed, a clutch connecting the engine's extended drive shaft starts to send 29,000 horsepower to the lift fan while gears rotate in the rear exhaust nozzle. The three-bearing rotating nozzle can change shape to transfer thrust downward, allowing for short takeoffs and vertical landings. For short takeoffs, the center nozzle rotates from zero degrees to 45 degrees, dividing the engine's power into thrust and lift. This allows the F-35 to operate from short amphibious assault ships such as the USS Macon Island. The minimum takeoff distance is further reduced with the aid of ski jumps on smaller amphibious assault ships. When landing vertically, the last nozzle section rotates to provide a full 90-degree turn. This allows the F-35 to smoothly transition between cruise and vertical flight with additional control mechanisms ensuring this balancing act is performed correctly. Air from the main engine bypass is also drawn into two scroll nozzles located on each wing to aid in control. The F-35 has guide vanes and liftoff fan doors underneath, which control performance and thrust from 5 degrees forward to 42 degrees aft. This computer-aided control makes the F-35 more stable than the AV-8B Harrier. The F-35's F-135 engine, developed from the F-22 Raptor's F-119, is extremely powerful. While the F-22 can produce 156 kilonauts of thrust, the F-35 reaches 191 kilonauts. The F-35's engine has a larger fan and auxiliary air duct, making it more efficient at cruise and producing more thrust, but also reducing its top speed to Mach 1.6 compared to the F-22's Mach 2.2. The F-35 is optimized for hover time, not speed, and the additional weight required for vertical takeoff is a challenge. The lift fan weighs 1.2 tons, taking up space and fuel during normal flight. The F-35B's lift fan, with its two counter-rotating titanium blisks, is a feat of engineering, especially since the first stage's blades are hollow to save weight. What sets the F-35B apart is its advanced sensors and computers, along with a head-up display on the pilot's helmet that provides X-ray vision and night vision. Information from sensors around the aircraft is processed and displayed via projectors in the helmet. Under the aircraft is a sensor suite inside a multifaceted box made of expensive sapphire, giving pilots better situational awareness in combat. The F-35 uses special materials such as sapphire, which is both hard and durable, and transparent to a wide range of electromagnetic wavelengths from ultraviolet to infrared. The most important part is the phased array radar in the nose of the aircraft. Unlike conventional mechanical radars, the F-35's phased array radar has 1,600 small antennas, each antenna being a slot in a metal plate. These antennas emit radar waves at the same time, creating constructive or destructive interference. Constructive interference increases the amplitude of the wave, 
while destructive interference cancels the wave, similar to noise-canceling headphones. This allows the radar to effectively direct the radio waves, preventing the radar from becoming an easy target for the enemy. Unlike passive phased arrays that can only point in one direction, the F-35's active phased array has each antenna individually controlled, allowing it to track multiple targets at once without any moving parts. The aircraft's nose is made of fiberglass composite material, transparent to radar waves, helping to conceal the antenna without affecting radar performance. The F-35 has a big advantage with its active phased array radar allowing it to track multiple targets at once without moving the antenna. Metal plates with cutouts act as small antennas, helping to control the radar waves and avoid detection. The F-35's phased array radar not only tracks targets, but also acts as a communications antenna, supporting networking tactics. The MET-L data link system allows the F-35 to quickly and securely transfer data between aircraft and ground forces, providing superior situational awareness to the pilot. The F-35B stands out with its ability to take off from small warships and land vertically like a helicopter, while still maintaining stealth and networking. This allows pilots to see the enemy below without verbal communication. Information is displayed right on their helmets. The combination of radar technology, communications, and combat features of the F-35B creates a powerful and flexible stealth fighter, meeting the modern demands of the battlefield.